Today on the newscast, as a new Palestinian terror wave hits Israel, there's a new effort in the U.S. to block financial rewards for these so-called martyrs. Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman newscast. There have been many Palestinian terror waves against Israel over the past few decades. Think of the first Intifada or uprising during the late 1980s. The second Intifada with its countless suicide bombings from 2000 to roughly 2006. And the so-called stabbing Intifada in 2015 and early 2016 that saw Palestinian young men and women carry out solo attacks against Israelis at places like bus stops and on residential streets. Then, of course, there's the continued Hamas-led rocket barrages out of Gaza over the past two decades as thousands upon thousands of projectiles have rained down upon Israeli cities and towns. And now, there are troubling signs once again of a renewed Palestinian terror wave against Israel. Over the past few weeks, we've seen a very noticeable rise in Palestinian terror, including at least four attacks in Jerusalem alone, the worst of which was a shooting by a Hamas member that left one young man dead and four others wounded in Jerusalem's old city. The biblical heartland of Judea and Samaria, also known as the West Bank, has been the scene of attacks as well, including a deadly one yesterday, December 16th. One Israeli man was killed and two others wounded when at least one Palestinian gunman opened fire on a car full of Jewish seminary students near the Homesh settlement. Now Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and other terror groups, of course, praised this evil act. And the perpetrator or perpetrators, as I come to you here around 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, are still at large, although the Israel Defense Forces are conducting a manhunt right now. At the end of the day, no matter who carried out this attack, one thing is absolutely certain. He or she will receive a lifetime stipend from the Palestinian Authority. That's right. Whether the terrorist is taken dead or alive, their family is now set for life, thanks to a so-called Martyrs Fund that is official Palestinian Authority law. Every time a Palestinian carries out a terror attack, they are rewarded financially. The deadlier the attack and the longer the prison sentence, the more money the family of the terrorist receives for life. Clearly, this is a great incentive for someone to engage in terrorism, and it's all thanks to the Palestinian Authority of Mahmoud Abbas, you know, Israel's supposed partner for peace. Now, for years, this Martyrs Fund was overlooked as the U.S. and other countries poured billions of dollars into the Palestinians. For an American like me, there's a very good chance that some of my taxpayer dollars were actually going to this Martyrs Fund. But things began to change in 2016 after a U.S. Army veteran and graduate student, Taylor Force, was stabbed to death in Jaffa by a Palestinian terrorist. Now again, Taylor Force was not an Israeli. He was a U.S. citizen. Yet the Palestinian Authority praised his murderer, who was killed by Israeli police, and rewarded the murderer's family with a lifetime salary as a reward. That led to the passage of the Taylor Force Act here in the U.S. in 2018, which President Trump signed into law. The bill made any non-humanitarian aid to the Palestinian Authority contingent upon them ending their martyrs fund, which has also become known as pay for slay, a much more fitting description. Now, Mahmoud Abbas, the great man of peace, refused to end the program and said, quote, we will not accept a cut or cancellation of salaries to the families of martyrs and prisoners as some are trying to bring about. Even if we have only a penny left, said Abbas, we will give it to the martyrs, the prisoners and their families whom we view as planets and stars in the skies. 
of the Palestinian struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahmoud Abbas. Oh, and Abbas has more than kept his word, by the way. In 2017, the PA reportedly devoted $344 million towards pay for slay. $344 million. That's roughly half of the entire amount of annual foreign aid that the PA was receiving at the time. Now, again, the passage of the Taylor Force Act in 2018 made it harder for Abbas and the PA to pay terrorists, but they have still found a way and jihadis are still being paid. That's why a group of 13 Republican senators introduced the Taylor Force Martyr Payment Prevention Act last week on Capitol Hill. It builds on the original Taylor Force Act and is, quote, aimed at eliminating Palestinian martyr payments by holding banks accountable. Banks that evade U.S. anti-terrorism sanctions by avoiding an official presence here in the U.S. and, quote, continue to knowingly provide banking services, including dollar-denominated transactions for terrorist organizations. The bill goes on to say, quote, such flouting of anti-terrorism financial regulations is only possible through the maintenance or use of correspondent accounts at United States banks for the benefit of terrorist organizations. Folks, this is very important. Let's hope this legislation passes and is signed into law. Let's pray that justice is done and that this evil, I'll use that word again, there's no other way to describe this, is put to an end, paying lifetime salaries to murderers. Folks, we live in the kind of times that the prophet Isaiah talked about when he said, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. That's what we're dealing with right now in 2021. But hey, God Almighty still sits on the throne again. Let's hope this legislation passes and Mahmoud Abbas and the Palestinian Authority are held accountable. Wouldn't that be nice? Hey, in the meantime, be sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're there at Eric Stackelbeck on Facebook and Twitter and Eric.Stackelbeck on Instagram. I don't mention that very much. I, of course, call for everyone to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, but we would love for you to follow us on social media as well. We're posting new content there every day, including updates on things like this new legislation, Taylor Force legislation aimed at ending terrorist payments. Hey, thanks so much for joining us here today on the Watchman Newscast. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey, everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.